Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Megan Leslie and I'm the PR officer that is currently working on Urban Outfitters Global Expansion into Spain. As many of you may know, Urban Outfitters presence within the global market is primarily in the US with 180 stores, followed by the UK with 27 stores. Urban Outfitters presence within Europe is dramatically less with only 7% of stores located within Europe. This presentation will identify areas of opportunity and possible issues that may arise with this expansion specifically related to the Spanish culture. For Urban Outfitters expansion to be successful, the company must take into consideration the cultural differences between their existing stores and their proposed new stores. How the Spanish are accustomed to doing business, what advertising and marketing tactics appeal to the Spanish, as well as what type of communication work best with the Spanish are all areas that must be researched. The communication goals and objectives of my PR plan are as follows. The Spanish culture varies greatly from other European cultures. Research into the Spanish culture revealed some common cultural traits that need to be taken into consideration for this global expansion. For example, the Spanish are known to be very outgoing and extremely friendly and are also have extroverted natures. Gert Hofstede's cultural index defines the Spanish culture as high context, meaning that they place a high value on interpersonal relationships, so how a person communicates can easily be more important than the content of the communication. It has also been defined as a normative society, which mean that, means that the Spanish people like to live in the moment, but also need structure and well-defined rules. Generally, the younger generation in Spain all speak both Spanish and English. The Spanish feel that personal connections outweigh business contacts, so in order to create a good business relationship, you must first create a personal relationship, which is what, which is what I hope to do today. Some specific communication strategies that can be used include the following. Some specific ways to use social media to communicate the global expansion would be to create Facebook and Twinty page for Urban Outfitters Spain, to use Instagram to promote their brand through competitions, and using YouTube will ensure that the global expansion presence is known in Spain throughout all forms of emerging technology, helping them to stay on par with their competitors. Due to Urban Outfit's main target market being 18 to 30 year olds, it would be beneficial to create some communication strategies throughout universities such as Spain, within Spain, such as giving student discounts to young adults who attend university. This shows the Spanish people that Urban Outfitters is understanding of university students and their lack of money and also provides a source of conversation throughout the university. There are multiple magazines that a media release would benefit from being sent to. Pop-up stores allow the customer to get to know the Urban Outfitters product line before the retail stores are up and running. And will also allow Urban Outfitters to gather information on what the Spanish culture are attracted to in regards to products. Spain is very well known for their popular street art culture and in particular their street graffiti. This would be a great way to incorporate a part of Spanish arts culture into the launch. This presentation gives information on the Spanish culture in regards to the best way to create communication strategies. It describes multiple ways that Urban Outfitters could reach their target audience within Spain to ensure that Urban Outfitters presence is known. These strategies are not only qualitative but quantitative, meaning that we can continually measure the success and expansion via simple number crunching, but more importantly via one-on-one -on -one pers personable interaction with Urban Outfitters potential customers. It has been a pleasure to present to you all and please ensure, please enjoy the meal in front of you. I am more than happy to discuss any of the points I have made in further detail over lunch. Thank you and bon proveco.